Welcome everybody. Absolutely amazing to see you all again. I'm in a beautiful location called Mogara Dam in southeast Queensland. It's about an hour, hour 20 from Brisbane. And it is just such a stunning location. You can see behind me, absolutely glorious shot lined up, ready to go, waiting for sunset. It's been a while since I put out my last vlog. It's about a year since I put it out. I tell you what, I feel very rusty. This is about my third or fourth attempt at vlogging here at Mogara Dam. Every time I go through, edit the video, think I'm happy with it, I look at it and I find excuses why <laughs> it's not good enough and I won't, um, and I don't put it out. This time I'm determined no matter what the video is like, I'm putting it out because I need to make that commitment to myself to follow through and get a vlog out to start that process again. And from here on, I'll be committing to at least one vlog a month. I'm hopefully going to be trying for at least two vlogs a month. So you can see behind me, we are about, about an hour, hour 10 off sunset. And we've got the makings of a stunning sunset here. I've been here a few times. The clouds do catch when you get the right clouds. Um, and these are looking like the right clouds today. There's a bit of a gentle wind, so it may push it past. Fingers crossed it doesn't. Um, but yeah, all the ingredients are here for an absolutely beautiful shot. This time though, I'm doing something a little different than what I would normally do here at Mogara Dam. Normally I would go down to the dam, find that beautiful glossy water, find some anchor point within that water like an old tree stump or something like that, and then take my shot. This time, I want to... This time I want to showcase a little bit more of the, the countryside around Mogari Dam and especially framing these beautiful hills you can see behind me. So this time I'm using a lot more of this grass. Hopefully it'll catch the side light and get a beautiful glow to it. I've got this tree behind me you can see and that's framing, not sure what mountain this is but it's framing this mountain in the background here quite beautifully. I do have trees across here to my right, um, but they're not in the frame. I am a little wider angled, and the tree is dead center in my, in my shot, and I'm a little wider angled and a little higher to try and get some of these clouds in as well, but we'll see what happens with the wind and whether or not that, that pushes the clouds away or whether or not it pushes it into a position that looks, you know, uh, that, that whether or not it pushes into a position that really works, but that's still a ways off anyway. But I'm getting this beautiful side light at the moment, um, just on the on the uh, scene behind me. So I'm going to take the shot. I literally just have a polarizing filter on the front. It'll be ISO 50 um, f 10, I think, um, and it'll be around about a quarter quarter of a second thereabouts. But I'll take the shot um, just because it's a bit of nice nice little test shot to see whether or not it all works make sure I do my edge patrol make sure that there's nothing sort of creeping in from the sides that I don't want and it only just has in the shot that I'm you know the the elements that I'm after and we'll see how it looks and then we'll just sit and wait we'll wait for the sun to go down and see what color comes Okay, I hope you can see me. I've come around from the tree and shooting it more into the sunset now. 
than I was before. A little bit rushed, the colour didn't come across the areas where I thought it was going to. It's come across more to the right hand side. So my picture that I was taking before was looking that direction. Now I'm looking directly back into the, the setting sun. I've got this tree silhouetted against the back, background, the setting sun. And I've got this beautiful colour, you can see it behind me. Um, I've exposed you more to see the colour than to see me, because I think that's more important than I am. Um, but as you can see, it is looking absolutely beautiful. I've done a couple of lens changes. I did a, my wide angle lens, my Tokina 11 to, to 16 mil, um, to get it nice and wide. I was trying, I don't know if you can see it, but across onto my left, there is a, a mountain side there. Um, the streaks of color was going across the top of that, but I wanted to balance that out with the tree in the right hand side here. Because I felt the tree on its own left a lot of space over on that right hand side um, that needed to sort of have something in there to balance it. So I chose to go a little bit wider and take the hill in. We'll see how it looks. Um, it looks good on the back of the camera. We'll see how it goes in um, Photoshop when I get it at home. At the moment, we've got these stunning depths to these colors. It is really, really beautiful. What I'm thinking of doing now, what I'm thinking of doing is popping this lens into, um, oh, this camera into portrait and doing a very quick pano. So I might actually do that. Oh, it's just stunning this is. But I'm one quarter of a second, F10, ISO 50, and I've just got this amazing color. And as I do my pano, I'm making sure, because it's with a wide angle lens, to overlap considerably. Oh wow, I hope you can really see this. This is absolutely amazing, so exciting. Okay, that's me done. What an absolute pleasure it was to shoot this sunset tonight. Whether I've got a good shot or not, I have no idea. But to be honest, it was never about the shot, it was about coming out today. And witnessing that, wow. It's one of the best sunsets I've witnessed in a very long time. So like I said at the start of the vlog, my plans are to start to get the vlogs out a lot more frequently. What I also want to start to do is to add more value to these vlogs. So instead of just taking you out of my journey, I actually want to start to teach you a little bit more. Uh, I'm a real nature buff. I love natural history. So I'll probably, you know, do my research about the areas that I'm taking shots and just, you know, tell you a little bit about the areas where I'm taking the photos and the natural history of it. Because we have such a wealth of natural history here in, in Queensland. Um, and there's some of the other places that I do shoot. So I, I certainly want to do that. I also want to do a few little tutorials along the way as well. So I want to start doing, you know, how to focus this um, properly within a landscape Im image, how to use the histograms, how to get out of manual, or how to get into manual and out of auto. Um, all these little things um, I would really love to start doing as well. So I think I'll start planning those things um, and in the future you'll start to see a lot more of those things coming out as well a lot more vlogs like that coming out as well but right now i just want to say thank you very much thank you very much for the patience as well okay um and i will see you uh, on my next vlog thank you